Hello, dear ones. It's Alice. I am of the stars. Um, I thought I'd talk for a minute about philanthropy and entitlement. Probably this topic has been discussed by many before, but I'll add my brief comments about it. Um, the way the government is set up today um, is somewhat socialistic, right? Uh, and the intention is that no one should fall through the cracks. Everyone should have medical care. <clears throat> Everyone should have the bare minimum of um, supplemental income in case they're disabled or unable to work. And uh, everyone who is elderly should have social security income if they work during their, if they were productive during their lives. And so, and then there are food stamps and, and milk for, for mothers and so forth. There's just quite a few programs that have to do with entitlement. We feel that people are entitled to a subsistence level of life. Um, and the way that that's achieved is by um, it, it, taking involuntary contributions from people who are working, the, what was previously the pretty much well-to-do middle class, and granting this money, maybe a third of their income, to these programs of entitlement. It goes farther than that. Um, the young people of today, because of our materialistic culture, um, the upcoming generation, uh, even the people in their 20s and 30s, seem to have a notion that they're entitled, um, entitled to a living. Without a strong worth ethic, they're entitled to a living. And, and most likely this comes from parents, or at least the parents seem to feel insofar as I've talked to them, that it comes from them giving their children um, lots of material things in their youth, whatever they wanted in their youth, so that they got the sense that these things came to them without them actually working for it. So, so a strong work, work ethic in this last generation uh, was not like inculcating it in their children. Uh, further, I think the reason for that was that many middle classes families, both parents are working, and so the parents feel that they're neglecting their children, which in fact is the case. The children are growing up without many of the benefits of parental guidance that were assumed to be the norm in my in my day. So so lacking this ability to offer nurturing and love, the the recent generation instead lavished their children with material things and so the children developed a sense of entitlement so um, so we have entitlement programs through the government and we have uh, a generation of young people that doesn't understand the importance of working hard and saving money and for the future and also um, you know doesn't understand the dangers of the modern world as much as it otherwise might. Um, so, so that's a difficulty here right now. It's a difficulty to be contended with. Um, sometimes even results in young people going out and stealing things, <coughs> committing blue collar or white collar crime because they figure they're entitled to other people's things, see. Um, now when I was growing up, it was a completely different situation. There were many people who didn't have enough stuff. Um, there was a whole social stratum issue. There were people who had really nothing and short lifespans, and then there were people that usually could get medical care and, and work and so forth, higher paid work, and uh, had higher, greater lifespans. And what would happen would be that those people that were in the fortunate position of having enough would exercise what I call the principle of philanthropy. <clears throat> in other words, they wanted to, they, they just naturally had the quality of wanting to give things to people who had not enough. They might put them up in a spare shed. They might offer them work. They might 
help them to reduce substance abuse if needed. They might offer them their spare clothes or their old clothes, and all this would happen in a spontaneous way as a way of expressing the natural quality of philanthropy, of giving, of giving to others who, who need, uh, who are needy, uh, when we have enough and a little bit more. You see, and the, and the advantage of philanthropy is that it, it opens up our hearts to the feeling of compassion. We personally feel that through free will we are giving something to those who need something. We're accomplishing something in the world that's really good. Further, in the old days, those that had a lot of money, like Carnegie and Rockefeller and so forth, those who had a ton of money spent a, 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 a great deal of money on social improvement programs and on their own kinds of philanthropy. You can look it up in Wikipedia. They're, they're, they were the source of all kinds of wonderful, um, uh, really social programs and, and um, institutions that they created for the public good. And I'm sure that this made them feel good, just like offering uh, old clothes to a person who's walking by and has, is out of work did for people like my mother, you know, and my father. Um, so, so the notion of philanthropy is really a Christ-like uh, quality. It, it creates Christ's consciousness in us. But the notion of entitlement uh, has many poor qualities to it, one of which is the resentment of people who are forced to, to give money out of their paycheck to other people that they don't know at all. It, it, it creates a sense of ill will. Um, and the second is that being given something anonymously by a great institution like the government creates in the, um, the people that are so gifted, it creates in them a sense that some like some unknown power, some, um, some agency beyond the human is, is offering them something for nothing, you know? Now, I'm in favor of of abundance for all earth. But, but we have to look at how it happens, you know, to the advantage of our own uh, soul wisdom, our own soul learning, and our own soul mission. So I'm just suggesting um, that we look at the notion of philanthropy and see how in our own daily lives, how, how we can help our own sense of compassion to, to become greater by offering what we can to other people who, who, who are needy. And, and if we have nothing, because of the social entitlement programs in place right now, we can always offer our goodwill our prayers and our blessings. So, um, so that's all I have for that. I'm sure there's going to be a way that's opening up pretty soon that, that, that shows us how to, how to create abundance for all people on earth today. <laughs> and, and, and this won't be a question of taking something from the super wealthy. It'll be something that flows naturally out of the incoming light and throws light on, on what needs to be done, what needs to be done right now. It's going to be terrific, really terrific. Well, so that's my thought. It's my, it's my prophecy.